Good morning, Abiding Savior. Another beautiful day for us today. I hope that you've been able to be outdoors a little bit. I know that in our uh, family, we've been trying to comply uh, with the request of Mayor Tanakin to put in 100 miles in 100 days. We are grateful to be able to do so. Gloria and I went out yesterday and uh, put in a few miles, and that was just a joy. And again, another day today that looks really good for that as well. So I'm going to encourage you uh, to be out and walking as you can. Again, keeping that distance, of course, uh, between others. But again, it's so good to be outdoors in God's uh, creation. We're thankful for that. This week at Abiding Savior, a couple things coming up. First of all, Gideon Sunday. We love our Gideons and are so grateful uh, to support them. And we're gonna be receiving a love gift this week. And of course, over the coming weeks, as you would have opportunity to give either online or cutting a check, uh, sending that over, or even dropping it off at the church, we would appreciate uh, support. We have a goal this year of $10,000, uh, which again is a little bit less than what we would normally seek, but uh, understanding the season of time that we're in, we do believe that uh, even at $10,000, what a wonderful gift onto the Gideons. The text of scripture that always comes to mind when I think of our Gideons is Isaiah chapter 40, verse eight. It says, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. So dear friend, any investment you make in the Gideons is an investment in God's word. And this is a gift that gives eternally and has eternal effects. So please search your hearts about how we can partner with our Gideons this week and in the weeks to come. Also make mention of another opportunity coming forward from Mission Haiti. There is a great need for backpacks and for shoes. We'll be forwarding you some information in the next few days about how you can participate uh, in this collection as well. And again, as you uh, prayerfully consider how you can partner, we would appreciate uh, your assistance in this as well. And then finally for Sunday, we're gonna be concluding our look at Acts chapter 27. This week, we're gonna be seeking out uh, those items upon which we're to, called upon to drop our anchor down upon, that anchor to hold us firm. What are those principles in Acts 27 that we can hold firm to, especially in a season of storm? So again, I look forward to being able to preach and proclaim God's word. Look forward to having you all join us again this Sunday. God's blessings to you in this day and every day to come.